we've been a firm believer in Indian hotels for a while, and that's why we set up Sami. Uh, I think our whole uh, interest and confidence comes from very large macro demographic trends. So one may see a short-term blips in terms of financial markets, in terms of imbalance of demand supply. People may talk about occupancies in certain markets going down. But I think for us, those are parts of doing a business in any country or for that matter, any, 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 any sector. We firmly believe that the larger demographic trends, uh, young population, economic growth, which one may question between 6% and 8%, but it still is good enough for the next 20 years. Uh, a lot of urbanization trends, which means we are seeing new and new uh, towns emerging in India. Uh, I think all of these things will uh, make this business extremely sustainable, uh, high growth, and also profitable if you run it well. So, so we, we continue to be very, very, very positive about the business in India, about the hospitality industry in India. Uh, in terms of green shoots, uh, really one of the biggest opportunities that we see is kind of consolidation. So don't forget Indian hotel industry was always very small. So you would not see the kind of consolidation opportunities you see in the Western markets or you would see in any other sectors. But in very small ways, we are seeing some consolidation. And that consolidation is largely happening because of poor investment thesis uh, during the peak years of 2006 and 2010. Uh, those, those poor investment theses were driven by investors who were not suave and smart enough about the industry. They were made by investment decisions being made by ego, uh, poor choice of operator and brands. So we believe that a lot of those poor decisions have led to consolidation opportunities for companies like Sami. And that's where we believe there's a lot of uh, opportunities. Uh, and you know, our business model is we, we are capital providers, we are asset owners, we are asset managers. We rely on operating partners like Starwood, uh, you know, with whom we've just started this whole initiative of trying to see if we can consolidate existing opportunities, uh, bring an international operating partner, and, and create that arbitrage for ourselves. You know. So I think uh, we, we firmly believe in the opportunity of uh, hotel, uh, hotel investment in India, and we believe the, a greater opportunity for us in the next two or three years is actually consolidation using our international operating partners. You know. We have a current, uh, a current capital base in the country will be close to about $250 million of capital assets uh, across various brands. Uh, and to answer you, absolutely yes, we, uh, we continue to be very positive about expanding our, uh, our portfolio. Uh, we can't give you a definitive number because, you know, unlike a fund, we are a permanent capital company. So we do not have a start life and an end life and a definitive portfolio that we build. Uh, we believe that we can continue to grow our business. We are about 3,200 rooms right now in our portfolio. Uh, uh, we believe we'll continue to grow at about 1,000 to 1,500 rooms every year for the next few years, you know. So, so yes, we remain fairly positive. Other than luxury, uh, I think we, we are investors for every other sector. Uh, at this stage, we're not looking at luxury, and that's uh, directly a... Uh, a, a, a relationship with our balance sheet size. We firmly believe that you do luxury when you have a very large balance sheet size. Uh, so luxury in our scheme of things will come a bit later. We are not completely denying it for ourselves. But at this stage, we are focused hugely on the mid-scale. Uh, if you go by the STR definition, really mid-scale, upscale. You know, if you go by the classic Indian definition, then you would say budget economy, mid-scale. Uh, so you know, starting from brands such as, you know, we've got a four points by Sheraton in Ahmedabad, we've got courtyards. And at the lowest end, we are doing Formula Ones with Accord. So that's really a playground, you know. Uh, but our whole focus is on the mid-scale. Uh, and I think, as I said, uh, we see a lot of consolidation opportunities. And actually, those opportunities are in the mid-scale segment, you know. So we've, we've done the first one with, with Starwood, where we bought a local hotel, and it's going to be Four Points by Sheraton. And we believe that that's a brand and that's a segment which has a lot of uh, potential to grow.